after more than two years of internal debates and discussions with the Environmental Protection Agency, Mercedes-Benz has decided not to put diesels in any of its passenger cars in the U.S. market. The brand's only diesel offerings will be Sprinter vans. During the Detroit Auto Show, head of R&D for Mercedes car group Ola Kalania said diesels only account for 3% of brand sales at most, hence, the diesel doesn't fit into our portfolio in the U.S. Dieselgate encouraged the EPA to target the emissions of every diesel sold here, and Mercedes took a few bullets. In early 2016, the U.S. Department of Justice asked Daimler to have a look at Mercedes' diesel certification process. Shortly after that, Mercedes delayed for a year plans to sell diesel versions of its C-Class sedan and GLC class crossover. One year later, the EPA still hadn't granted Mercedes the right to sell 2017 model year diesel vehicles in the U.S., so Mercedes gave up trying. In the wake of EPA investigations into Fiat Chrysler's diesel emissions, Mercedes said last year that the EPA had taken such a hard line on diesels that functionalities that are common in diesel vehicles were being labeled as undisclosed auxiliary emission control devices and potentially impermissible. Mercedes has decided that the effort to comply requires too much investment for just 2 or 3 percent of sales here, especially now that EVs are getting major attention inside the company and in the marketplace. Despite U.S. and worldwide diesel sales facing big challenges, UBS Group predicts worldwide diesel market share will decline to 4% of passenger cars by 2025, from 13.5% at the end of 2016, some U.S. entrants remain in the game. Outside of trucks, the traditional diesel vehicle, BMW offers an oil-burning 3 Series and X5, Chevrolet has a turbidal cruise, and Jaguar Land Rover, which said 10 to 15% of its U.S. sales were diesels, proffers a range of models from those to the Range Rover.